Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. This is episode 3. Last time, the episode ended with me losing all of the souls that I owned because I was careless and stupid. And I'm figuring this game out still. It's early days, uh, but I've done some grinding to get that back. Um, really appreciated the Soldier's Rest Bonfire just being right next to a bunch of enemies, so you can just run that uh, a bunch of times. Obviously, I haven't gotten back my 12k just yet, but we can run around and get that sorted. Um, by the time that this episode is now being recorded, my first episode of the Let's Play has actually come out, so I've been able to see uh, the wonderful reception to uh, this game being played on the channel, and I'm very grateful. Uh, you guys have been great. Uh, a lot of tips to take in, so forgive me while I try and keep a lot of them in mind, uh, of things that can make the playthrough better, but I'm also trying to like forge my own path and you know do things how um, I want to do for a blind playthrough but there are very useful things in there and a lot of things that the game yes doesn't tell you obviously I've made some mistakes along the way since I've uh, since I've uh, had that information but um, the reason we're in starting in Majula is because apparently there is an NPC that I did miss um, that's in a house over here so I think I quite obviously missed one, unfortunately. I think it might be that one right ahead. So we're going to go and check that out. Um, and also, we're going to need to find um, some more enemies, get some more souls. Uh, I was going to buy that thing that can remove like the petrified curse so we can get rid of one of those statues. Um, and then... I guess we got to figure out where to, where to go next. I'm pretty sure we cleared out as much as we could of Forest of the Giants, uh, so I think we'll be going down the next path, which is uh, like Heed's Tower of Flame, which looks very interesting. Uh, so let's let's have a look, and we'll uh, we'll go we'll go check this out because I think it ah oh yeah I think it's this house. I must have got distracted by the stupid pigs <laughs> and didn't go in here. Yes, okay. No. Yes? Yes. <gasps> oh my god. What? Oh. Undead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Shalqua. Enchante. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> I'm so bad with names, so I'm gonna need to really think about this one. Uh, sweet Shalqua. No, Shaoquo, and then said Enchante. It's like the pronunciation is going to need to be hammered into my head because I'm so bad with names. Shaoquo. Shaoquo? Enchante. Oh, you're a Covenant Tracker. And then you can see the rank. Uh, I've also been told in the comments uh, useful information about Covenants is that there's no penalty for leaving or joining uh, each one and you retain your ranks in each one. Uh, so, pretty good. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Normal cat NPC uh, instead of the one that looks like a Cheshire cat. Like disappears for a brief moment when I clip it through the wall. <laughs> this place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Literal weird talking cat who's just scratching her paws on the rocks. Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. 
For heaven's sake. No one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes. Nothing like yourself. <laughs> For you have a most pleasant scent. It grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> have you made friends with the man by the sea? He has lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> Crestfallen Soldan. What he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Although, you'd just as well not. <laughs> Yeah, apparently someone pointed out Victor's Stone is like a hardcore thing. This place is already dead. Everything isn't it. Okay, exhausted the dialogue. We can buy items. Oh, there's the Ring of the Evil Eye back again. Absorb HP. That seems like it would be very useful in this situation. Silver Cat Ring. Ah, oh, reduces damage from falling. Convenient that it's literally right next to the pit, huh? Easier to be detected by enemies. Easier to connect the players who chose same god. Can hear the voices of foes. Well, I guess I guess we got a ring to save up for. Absorbing HP could be very useful, especially because of how healing takes so long, and it's not like an instant thing like um, how it used to be. Nice, sell homewood bones as well. Okay, let's save up for a ring eventually. Nothing suited you, I presume. Well, that's dismay. <laughs> that's a bad. Mm. No. No. How many souls do these pigs give? Twenty. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough to satisfy me, and now I've and now I'm set to incur their wrath to in the end of days. Yep, there they are. Can we just lure them down the pit instead? Come on. Weird cursed pigs. Thank you. Not worth it. Um, I'm gonna go somewhere else to gain souls, but that was a that was a lovely new NPC. Whose name will never be remembered. You uh, would good old merchant hag. So we're going to be needing 12,000 and she only sells one. She only sells one. Activates Faris's contraption. At least you at least like these are pretty good to buy cuz I think I need to <laughs> I think I really need to have a decent amount of these considering how much health you lose when you die. We're kind of risking Time. We're kind of risking the amount of health that we're on at the moment. We're in like just like three quarters, not even. Uh, apparently you can read this tower. That someone pointed out that I decided not to read. Examine! <laughs> what even, what number is it? 163 million 
deaths worldwide. 163,077,553 deaths worldwide. Can't wait to, uh, can't wait to contribute to that. Um, also another very useful message that I got, which I haven't been able to put into action until now because I obviously didn't know is illusory walls are actually selected with the with the A or X button um, depending on which console you're on um, and they are not uh, smacked with an object so that's obviously something that I'm gonna have to get used to and I'll need to backtrack and find the walls that were initially pointed out to me <laughs> at one point uh, but I think what we're going to do is go this way um, properly this time to Heath's Tower of Flame um, and we'll get some souls we'll buy the petrification thingy free up a statue and see what happens um, I think we might do it maybe in order let's do like the first one that we found that was in like the tutorial area and then we can continue to like light the torches in that area as well which could be really good also, this is me. You're probably like, oh, dude, why didn't you just fast travel from the bonfire? Well, here's the thing, guys, is I played an entire Dark Souls game without doing that until I got the Lord Vessel. So I'm going to need to remember that I actually have the ability to fast travel um, right off the bat, which is great because there's literally no enemies from point A to point B at this point. There's this dude that's going to be sitting here. But they don't they don't do anything. I don't know if we should I don't know if we should take them on. I don't know if it's like a bad thing or not. Alright, we'll just let this dude just kinda can be confused and walk over to me. Yes, we managed to get it again! Oh, that's so funny. That time was like, whoop! <laughs> just truck him, dude. Nice. Alright, I'll rest here, which will just only make him respawn. But I guess we're going up there. I'm gonna scale the Tower of Flame for this episode. Alright, now we get to fight him legitimately. Okay, he does like a nice little three. Oh god, what was that? I need to wait for my stamina to come back. Oh god. Wow. He's got quite a swing on him. Oh no. Oh, I got I hit a wall. Okay. I got hit once. I'm concerned about my health. <laughs> I'm heavily concerned about my health. And there's another one there. Oh hang on, I can target this one. Weakness, two handing, and then thrust. Why? Why are all of the notes sexual in nature? Okay. Let me let's see. Right, he's getting up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. Oh. Oh. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that was... Oh, he's quick. Oh, he's not dead. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sure. God, that is such a slow... Slow drink. Oh no, I can target this one now. Oh my god. 
Ja. Alright, keep your distance. Okay. Good amount of souls, I guess, but I don't know. Do they respawn? Let's check and see if they respawn. They do. Okay. Oh, oh god. I'm so glad that he hesitated there, because like I, I almost fell off. That would have been karma. Karmic justice. Sweet karmic justice. Oh, dude. Oh no, we didn't manage to get him off that time. Phrasing. Cool. What we're doing here is getting enough souls. Getting enough souls to buy the thing, so that's kind of why I'm chilling out here at the moment. 600 souls per kill is not bad. So you're just witnessing my grinding. And then we'll do the statue, and then we'll do this. So I don't want to get too far ahead. Oh god. Okay. So they just seem to be just normal enemies that you can like take out without much consequence. Which is fine. Alright, let's travel back to... Here. So we can buy the thing from the merchant and then run on back to the dude who apparently has the Moonlight Greatsword, which is what you get from Seath the Scaleless's tail, which is awesome. Neat little detail. I knew you. I'm always going to be back. Because I'm here for your fragrant branch of yore. Restores living things. There you go. That was expensive. Thank you. I hope it's worth it. All right, we're going back to we're going back to things betwixt, which I'm pretty sure I don't think we can travel to. Can we? Cardinal Tower, Soldiers Rest. No, th yeah, things betwixt. Firekeeper's dwelling. Okay, we can. So travel back to here very early. And now we can traverse through this place. We're going to open up this area first before I start lighting a torch and taking it through. Wait. Oh, no, I got confused. The statue's here. I was like, wait, I swear the statue was up there. Because I'm pretty sure what we saw last time when we were in here is there are those fucking basilisks that are going to curse us. So we need to be careful. So, let's use a Fragrant Branch of Yore. I'm just deciding to do an order, and then I guess we have to get another one somewhere. Because there's another statue that's near that dude. Oh my god, of course you're gonna just turn into an enemy. Come on, man, I freed you from your- freed you from your torment. And that's how you repay me. Okay. Now let's be careful. I don't want to get cursed straight away. Be gone! I've been cursed once before. I didn't like it. Yeah, look at their real eyes that are just like so tiny! They're real tiny eyes by the side of their mouth and these huge fucking orbs. They look so weird. Oh, there's a dude in here as well. There's the basilisks. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, we knocked down the... That's a powerful kick we got there. Search your surroundings. Yeah, there's a, there's a torch in here. Ooh, it continues. Things betwixt continue. So we can light a torch in here. Ah, it's the ability to drop down. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I still got gotcha. you. Oh, that one scared me for a second. I was like, ah. This is what searching your surroundings means. <laughs> no, let me get him. I'm not getting surprised in here. Oh, that's rude. There we go. Uh, I'm scared to drop down. Oh, hang on, there's a ladder. I'm still scared to drop down. I can hear the basilisks making the noises. There you are. There's another one. We're playing this smart. I don't hear any more. I think we're okay. Oh, <gasps> yes! An Estus Flask Shard. Nice. That is very much worth it. Man, I, oh, I wonder if every statue is maybe protecting... That could be cool. Every branch or every statue is protecting a Flask Shard. Where's this going to take me? I'm hearing uncomfortable noises. Ah, oh, this is this. There's another torch here too. Okay, it's a one one of those. We can go down here if we want. They are not to be fucked with. Oh, can I knock this down and then it Yes, cool. And now we can come back. Awesome. If I got killed without knocking down that tree, I'd be annoyed. Cool. Now we can skip everything if we get killed. Nice. Alright, and then there's two torches that we can light. <laughs> this fucking... I knew I could... This is the benefit of playing with headphones. Hi, buddy. Hi. One at a time, please. Oh, no! I said one at a time. Oh, fuck. Stop it. Alright, that's one done. I'm just gonna go over the bridge. Uh, oh! The speed up, dude. <laughs> just hearing it running. Yes. Play to your strengths. Yeah. You don't like that, do ya? Bitch. These guys do not fuck around, so I'm not fucking around either. Because I will get wrecked. I'm just a poor, lowly sorcerer. Now what's this? Oh yes. I've been playing New Game Plus in Dark Souls. And I just tried to jump! What the fuck? No! Oh shit! No, I wanted to just check out the coffin, sir. Oh my god. This is like a dark version of the night that surprised us at the end of last episode. And he's out. I don't have the... I, I can't. I don't have the strength. Examine. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh no. The nature of your being has changed. No, what does that even mean? Is there a note? Oh no, it's the light. No! What does that... Dude, what does that even mean? Why does the game not tell me things? Okay, the knight does come back. I'll fight you another time. Dude, why does the... Ah! Oh, it's reset the... It's reset? It's reset the instance. The nature of my being has changed. You want to be more specific? No, what just happened? Dude, the nature of my being has changed. What does that mean? Hmm. Um. It's it's time. It's moments like this where I'm like, man. Playing blind can just, like, severely fuck you up sometimes. Like, what's that? What is that in reference to? The nature of my being changed by getting into the sarcophagus. I thought that, like, if I got into there... Um, I, I thought there might have been an item in there, but then getting in there, I was like, oh, is this going to be, like, a... Covenant, like similar to like Grave Lord Nito, the one that I missed from Dark Souls 1. Well, cool. Maybe I should talk to an NPC. Maybe I'll go talk to Emerald Herald and she'll be like, What have you done? I can't believe you've done this. Type deal, potentially. We'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see. If an NPC doesn't have the dialogue for me to tell me what's up, then I'm going to be very confused. Potentially the... Oh. Potentially the fire keepers, because they're close by, could have the knowledge to tell me. Because otherwise I'm just uh, very concerned. Otherwise I'm very concerned. Bleed stone. Oh, hang on. You have one too. A faint stone. Um, let's have a look. What are these? And where are they? So much to look at. Oh, I gotta drop this in the... Um, I think I can drop this as well. I need to drop, drop both of these in the nest. A faint stone and a bleed stone. Oh. Titanite shard, faint stone, imbues equipment with magic, makes equipment lacerating. Oh. An altered state of titanite used to imbue weapons with magic or to provide magic reduction to shields. Sorcerers at the uh, Milfian Magic Academy once attempted to imbue titanite with various elements but are said to have failed. Someone must have succeeded, though. What else would explain this stone? Bleeding reduction to shields. So I guess you have to do that at a blacksmith and they can, like, do something. And, like, do something with, um... With those stones. That's cool. Alright, let's light this torch. And then I think that's all of the ones in this area. I'm pretty sure we've lit all the torches in this area. And it seems, like, significant. I may, like, maybe it's not. Maybe it's literally just to provide light. And now I can get torches wherever I go in things betwixt. 
There was the one instance where we saw the shadow of someone sitting down. That was revealed by the torchlight. So maybe... It could be something like that. Oh my fucking... What the fuck? Dude! Where did you even come from and where? Get out of here. Where did you even come from? Is this a result of my torch lighting? What the fuck? I petrified something. That's the gift that I literally started the game with. So now I have two. Cool. Well, at least now I get to see what uh, I get to see what it's about because we're going to put it in the nest. Did that guy spawn because we lit all the torches? Or did he spawn because we got in the sarcophagus? This game is very confusing for me. You, you, give it move. <laughs> this voice. Give us you. Give us maybe I should, uh, maybe there's gonna, I wonder if there would be anything about it in the player manual. I don't know. Let's leave this in here. Petrified dragon bone. Um, that's here. Petrified dragon bone reinforces special equipment. A large petrified bone reinforces equipment made from special souls, commonly called dragon bone, but the veracity of the name is questionable. In any case, this petrified bone houses great power. Is that like similar to the dragon scale from um, DS1? I guess we'll leave this one in there as well, and get another one. <gasps> Did I just discard it? I'm such an idiot. I just discarded it. I'm so stupid. Yes, you! Give us Suki! Can I, can I quickly save and quit the game? Will that work? Let's try it. Uh, I, I nah. <laughs> I just discarded it right before our very eyes, everybody. You just watched me press discard and just confirm it instead of leave. They should not be right next to each other. They should not be right next to each other. What do you what do you think? Or maybe I should just think before I press buttons, but I just totally removed it from my inventory. Cool. Well, I'm glad that we got one from that dude. So, I'm just going to pretend that I never got a second one. I'm just going to pretend that I never got a second one. A white ring. We actually got something different. Yes, you. Give us Take the appearance of a phantom, a precious ring which grants the protection of Quella, god of dreams. Make its wearer appear as a phantom, misleading invaders. He who sets the trap must be wary, for traps are known to spring upon their owners. <gasps> we can like be like, haha. I'm not even a. I'm not even here, bitch. I'm an illusion, and then fuck him up. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, um, I have unfortunately ruined ruined everything by discarding that item. I'm going to go back to this coffin. Because I want to figure out what the hell is going on here that's changed. Can I, can the nature of my being change once again? Also, I wonder if we can actually get this dude. He's very strong. I kind of sincerely doubt it. And there you're leaving. You're leaving. Damn it. I'm assuming you'll come back with full health. So he can't, like, do it. Alright, we can get in again. The nature of your being has changed. Uh, hopefully I think that means it's changed back. I... The nature of my being. Oh god. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a nice little bet and assume... Look how cool this guy looks. 
I'm going to take a nice little bet. And maybe it changes something about my physical appearance, because I can't see anything in the stats. Yeah, let's test this. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, guys, remember when I had a beard? Remember when I had a beard and tattoos? Maybe this is what happened. I got into the thing and it turned me into a, this. I know that I'm- I know that it's not. It's because I haven't reversed my hollowing. Ugh. Uh, has it gone- Let's see. Ooh, dark fog. <gasps> I'm a woman. That's what it does. It gives me boobs. It's a boob tube. Let's get back in. I don't want boobs anymore. They were fun for a second. Okay, it changes your gender. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it says, hey, you want to jump in a creepy box and get boobs? Yeah, cool. It changes your, uh, changes your gender. Lovely. Um, okay, uh, if in that case, we're going to remain as we were. Um, and then... Oh god, hang on. Hang on, I'm not ready. I'll come back another time. I'll come back later. I promise. As if that wasn't a one-hit kill. Alright. That's great. That's great. What a learning experience. Things betwixt, everyone. Uh, we got an Estus Shard, which I'm very grateful for, so we're gonna go back to Emerald Herald. And uh, she can give us a third flask, which is great. I can't wait till we get to five. I'm never taking five for granted again. <laughs> I was like, ah, I need more than five in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2 be like, here's one. And you have to find the rest. Jesus. Is that a shard you found? It is. Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. <gasps> the guy's got a cool helmet light and shield. Hope. However faint it might be. He has the Buster Sword, essentially. Upgrade my flask, please. Thank you so much. Nice. Um, let's also level up. Now, a good tip that I've gotten, and by a good tip, I mean a good 20 tips that I've gotten, which is all the same tip, is you guys are very set on... Uh, adaptability because it increases your agility uh, and apparently that is really what I should be putting points into because it can be the difference between life or death um, and especially if you're going to be dodging a lot which I think as a sorcerer who's not going to be using a shield that much uh, will need um, apparently attunement also can do the same because cast speed uh, increases uh, so that's good but we will put some one points into uh, adaptability as well, so we can get agility up. Um, so we'll just chuck three in there. That's good because the level ups are, you know, a little bit affordable at the moment. It costs me two thousand now if I want to do another one. There you go. Now, can you tell me about the nature of my being, even though we kind of figured it out? No. All right, we're fine. Um, I can't go back that way now until we get another leaf, a fragrant leaf. I don't know where to get them because she's now out of stock. Fragrant branch of yore. But I'm going to buy one of these, at least. Um... And the good thing is, I don't have to burn it. I almost went to burn it again. See, this is me going back to my Dark Souls 1 habits. I almost went to burn it. Uh, I'm going to use it. Uh, so I can get my health back. And then we'll rest at the bonfire so I don't use a healing item. And then we'll travel to Heed's Terror of Flame. And that's how, that's how, we, that's how we get shit done. I wonder if you can find those fragrant branches in this in the world. Because if so, we will find one and we'll take it back to that area with the with the knight. Um, I guess we may as well just equip this. 
while we have it, while we can put stuff in our ring slots. Nice. So then we just have the appearance of a phantom in case we get invaded. Fuck. I've also got souls that I can cash in. That's what I should have done. Oh well. Let's explore this Tower of Flame and see uh, if we're in the right place and see if I'll survive, essentially. I can't wait. Oh! Ooh! I really forgot that there's three attacks. It's very consistent. I'll give him that. Very consistent. Oh no! You are not consistent! As soon as I am... As soon as I am... Telling you how grateful I am for your consistency, you go and do a fourth attack, which is now a stab. Oh, that's so rude. That's so intensely rude. Alright, let's pop a flask. Because at this point, if I just rest at the bonfire, I'm just repeating myself. And we'll do the fight all over again. Because we've got a... <laughs> Big hammer! Okay, buddy. Oh. You, you're not going to take the shortcut down the stairs. You're going to... You're going to be... Respectful. Oh, he didn't even go for slamming it down straight away. That's not what I expected. Jesus. Well, there's a massive drawbridge. There's a knight there guarding an item. Okay, maybe it's not going to be so simple to go up to the tower. We're probably going to do that instead. Maybe. We just have to take on these big boys. Ah, oh, human effigy. Every single tip in here, holy shit. Every single tip. Everyone everyone who plays Dark Souls 2 is horny, confirmed. I don't know why. What is it about this game that brings it out in people? Oh, nice. What if I just leave? If you're gonna just keep blocking, I'm just gonna leave. But, trio ahead in a short range battle. Dude, there's so many of them. <laughs> there's so many and I don't have enough castings for this. Being a sorcerer is gonna be a bad time. It's just me and my dagger. Just gonna be me and my dagger. There's three of them. Should we do what I did with the ambush? The tip is giving me the same thing as I said with like the that ambush where it was like, lure them out one at a time. I don't have enough spells to do this. I was like, can I just avoid them? There's a knight in front of a chest. Fog wall to the tower. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Great sword wielding boy. Come out of here. Oh no. Oh. I have to turn around because otherwise I'm going to run myself off the bridge. Okay, we actually got that one. Oh, his friends come. His friends are coming. What the fuck? What was that? That was the sound of, uh... What was that the sound of? Like an invader? Like something being summoned? Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Guys, please. <gasps> what if I can lure them to fall off the edge? That'll save me. 
That'll save me time. Oh no, they'll probably go. Oh no, they they're committed. They are committed to the cause. All right, we're gonna try and get them to fall off. Two of them is gonna be oh, okay. One. No, oh, no, you come, 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 come. No. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Come on, I'm trying to trick you. All right, maybe we could do it here instead. Come, you could, I can probably still trick you to fall off. Maybe. Nope. Come on. Hit me. Mm. Come on, I need to use advanced tactics here. Come on. No. I know we can do this. Let's just play a little... Do a little dance, you and me. Let's do a little dance, you and me. Hmm. There's got to be a way to make this work. Is that there must be a specific angle that you can fall off. Backstab! <laughs> Or I just do this. That was dangerous. That was incredibly dangerous. Well, this is one hell of a way. This is one hell of a way to lure them one at a time. Oh. And then just kind of slowly go at them with the dagger. I feel like that one should have hit me. Honest, to be honest. <laughs> the slow way. With a dual wielding dagger. Honestly. Look at me go. So if you hold Y, you can dual wield the dagger. I'm just gonna leave that guy alone because he's like, don't hurt me, I'm guarding with my shield. Alright, now we're in arena, it's just the two of us. Oh, we can go off to the left. This dagger is so bad, dude. <laughs> oh, this is what it's come to. A sorcerer fighting with a dagger to save his spells. And a lot of dodging. Oh, right into the next attack. Nice. Okay, that way goes that way, and this way goes this way. Confirmed, I know directions. That's a fog wall dude with a hammer. The Tower of Flame. But it also... It also goes across that way. Um, I'm gonna try, because a lot of these tips kind of give away things. Uh, what I'm gonna try, I'm gonna leave them on, but I'm gonna actually try and avoid most of them. And I'm gonna use them as pointers that point out like illusory walls instead. So I will try and not read them, unless absolutely, I feel it's absolutely necessary. Because a lot of them just give away a bunch, but then you see a bunch of notes here and you're like, Ugh. Maybe I should. Oh, yeah. Can I open it? I'm gonna, I have to deal with you, don't I? You are protecting this chest. <sighs> of course you are. Okay, buddy. Maybe I could just trick him to trick him to fall off. Come 
can I trick you into falling off? Hmm. Kind of missed my chance to do that. Alright, I'm going to see if I can... This is a mistake. This is a huge mistake. Oh! <gasps> as if! As if he didn't just walk off. That dude was that dude almost just walked himself off the edge. He did it he did it for me almost. Okay. Was that worth it? Oh my god. I'm actually I'm actually taking up issue with the movement speed. It's kind of weird when you're trying to do like small stuff and it's I don't know, the movement is very sharp and weird, especially when you go back to front. It just doesn't feel natural. It feels it feels really weird. I found it interesting at first, and now I'm just like this feels just bizarre to me. Ring of binding. Limits HP reduction when hollow. An unusual ring of unknown origin limits the wearer's HP reduction. Alas, this ring will not make you human. What is lost is not easily retrieved. Okay. So, can you only equip it when you are hollow? And then when you are hollow, it prevents your reduction? I can equip it, so that's okay. Am I still human? I am! Look at my beautiful face. Look at me. Ah. Oh. I'm hidden behind the fucking... Actually. There I am! See? I'm on my body! <laughs> um, alright. Ring of bind- oh, I'm so fucking stupid! Oh my god. Why does this- Why? Why? Good thing I put the ring of binding on! Jesus. You press the... You press the B button. And you... Off you go! No! <laughs> ah, silly... Silly things. That I'm not, just genuinely not surprised about either. That's just classic. Don't press any buttons that involve movement, like dodging or jumping. When you're on a small platform, you're juggling a bunch of souls, and you're not sure if you're going to even survive. And now let's do that again, I guess, and try and get my souls back. <laughs> We're making a run for it, so I'm, I'm, doing, a, I'm doing a push. I'm doing a push. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time! Fuck it, I'm out of here. Okay. God damn. You ever try to just rush something and then you're like, Oh yeah, this is the staircase. And then you go, That was not the staircase. That was not the staircase. That was death. The ring of binding really came in handy, huh? Wow. For some reason I thought there was a staircase that went down, and I don't know why. Oh my god. I was like, yeah, we go down there. Oh, these dudes aren't going to leave me alone either. I'm on- this is honestly my train of thought. Oh, that was rude. Oh, what the fuck? I'm in a fucking boss fight. Are you kidding me? No! I'm not prepared! I'm not prepared! Holy fuck. I'm dead. Oh, actually, he held back for some reason. No, dude! I was not prepared for a boss fight. Okay, Dragon Rider. He looks so cool. 
He actually looks awesome. Oh! Ooh! I don't even know your moveset, man. All I know is I actually got hit while I was in the middle of dodging there. Oh, no. Ooh! What if I could trick him to fall off? No, you don't dodge. Don't dodge. I mean, don't block. Don't block my fucking great arrows. I need you to get hit by those. Uh, they're they're very expensive. Oh, just a very interesting. I got hit. God damn it! It's interesting that it lets you do the full dodge animation when you get hit sometimes. Back to normal soul arrows. Oh my god. No! The timing! Oh! How did I survive that one? Oh no, not a third attack! No! Life gem, life gem, life gem, life gem. I almost did that first go, when I didn't even know that he was there! Fuck me! I had that in the bag! I hate how close I was to getting that first go, dude. I hate how close I was to getting that first go. Stupid Dark Souls 2. Stupid Dark Souls 2. Dude, that binding ring is gonna fucking save my soul. That ring's never coming off. That ring is never coming off with the amount that I die in this game. Um, holy fuck. Three Estus Flasks is what kept me going there. So there's just a boss just chilling in that room. I full on, let me tell you... That the image I had in my head was, oh man, we're going to go into that tower and we're going to have to scale it all the way up to the top for a boss. And I didn't expect a guy called Dragon Rider. Again, with the stupid move. That's not the attack you should have done. Alright, let's fucking go. Alright, he goes for a fucking jab straight away. I didn't think that was going to connect, and it did. I, I, I pressed the B button as soon as I was smacked. It's those moments where you need like a split second, literally a millisecond better reaction time. Oh, at least they're easy to run past to just keep trying. But holy fuck, so Dragon Rider almost got it first go out of pure shock and adrenaline. But that was it. <laughs> Second try was just as worse, because now you're like, oh, I'm prepped for a fight. I think running off of that, like, confusion and adrenaline certainly, like, helps. You're like, dude, what? Now I'm just, now I'm just annoyed that I didn't get it first try. And that salt gets rubbed in the wound by not getting it the second try. Alright, I'm just gonna make you a little bit further away. So you can't smack me. Alright, let's go. Full health this time. Ooh! Oh no. Yep, that was dumb. That was also dumb. Why am I just doing attacks without being far away? Ooh, it's really hard to gauge when he is going to do 
multiple swings. Because sometimes he just does one and he holds it in the same way. And if he would do one swing, ah. Oh. Oh no! Yep. Oh no! Dude, holy fuck. Persistent motherfucker, aren't you? See, because there I was like, oh, he could have done. Oh. oh no. Time. Oh! That attack just keeps hitting me. Oh no. Did that just that didn't cancel the flask? That's good. It made the flask noise. I got scared. One more. One more. Oh, he cancelled out. He cancelled me. Oh, did we just kill each other? Oh, no. <laughs> what happens there? No. I was like, no. We fucking tied. By the way, that last attack was queued up. I didn't press the button. I got up and went to do that attack. Fucking Dragon Rider. Classic Dragon Rider. Classic both killing each other. Fuck my life, dude. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. I wish I had like 20 great soul arrows instead of 15. I wish I had 20. This is so fucking funny. This fight with Dragon Rider has just been stupid. And I love that. <laughs> Third time's the charm should have happened there. And technically... No, don't dodge, you fucking idiot. <laughs> technically... That was my third times the charm win. It was also just a, the unfortunate measure of, um... Him also killing me. I don't like it when he runs. You shouldn't be allowed to run, sir. Your know, armor's too heavy, okay? Yeah, that was silly. I was I was really uh, putting a lot of faith in. I really put a lot of faith in my ability to predict where. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay. I'm. I'm okay. This is fucked. Okay, he's he's putting so much more pressure on me now. So much more pressure than before. And I'm already out of flasks, too. This was just a silly one. It's just a silly one, just for fun. It's just a warm-up. Just another warm-up! Oh my god. Ah, uh, just wasted that life gem. Just wasted that life gem. <laughs> just practice. Just, just practice. I knew I was gonna die that time, obviously. Dragon Rider. Absolutely wrecking my shit. Maybe I should use those magic... Uh, maybe I should throw those magic bombs at him too. See if that does anything. Witching Urn. I got four of them. Definitely not going to try hitting him with the dagger, that's for sure. But... The Witching Urn to do magic damage. I'll give it a try. It was the perfect... It was literally the perfect chest to get a binding ring on. Because all of these deaths... And I have lost health. But I haven't lost that much. Which I appreciate. At least I have that opening move down. I know 
that I can get those first three attacks for free, essentially. <gasps> I almost completely misstepped. Dude. It's really interesting that he, he attack you take you take that damage in the dodge. I wonder if we could backstab him. Oh, he blocked it, dickhead. <gasps> that was quick. That was quick for him to do that. He reacted really quickly there. And victory, bitch! Ah, oh, there we go. Whew, victory achieved. Dragon Rider Soul. Yeah, let's touch my bloodstain. 12,000! That's literally the cost of the... the fragrant branch. That's a bunch of level ups for me, baby. So, he was not the reason we're here, because we can keep going up. We can keep going up. Um... I... I love that that dude is still going back home. From when he was fight getting me before. Uh, I'm popping a Homeward Bone, baby. We're going to the bonfire. Uh, and I'm popping these souls right into Emerald Herald. I'm not... I'm not taking chances when I have this many souls. With how easy it is to lose them. <laughs> so easy to lose them. So, we're leveling up straight away. Um, and I guess I'll put some more points into uh, adaptability. We've I put a, I've dedicated a lot to that now. I think I need to do a lot more. Is what people have said. Um, I can't remember if they. I think they said that they need agility to be at like a decent amount. Um, and I can. You know, I'll get there. Um, it's also like more health in general would be nice. Everything would be nice. Everything would be nice. I'm going to put a point into intelligence while I'm here. That's pretty good. Should have a chat to the. Um, actually, let's look at the Dragon Rider Soul. Soul of the Last Giant, sorry, and then Dragon Rider Soul. Soul of a Dragon Rider who faithfully served King Vendrick. Long ago, the Dragon Riders mounted worms, why did I press the wrong button, and were feared on the battlefield for their unparalleled strength. Use a Dragon Rider Soul to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. We are holding on to the souls right now, in the meantime. Because I don't know what they're going to create. I assume they would create weapons based on what we've fought them with. So maybe he would give us a halberd, which we're not going to fight with. So in a, in a mage playthrough, it might be better just to cash in for the souls. Um, it might just be better to cash in for the souls. And then the soul of the last giant, I genuinely don't know what we could get from that. I, I, I'm actually genuinely quite clueless. Of what we could get from that, because he just pulled his arm off and started attacking me with it. There. Are... So I don't know. Um, I'm gonna level up some more because I am sitting on those souls. I'm gonna put myself on twenty intelligence. Um, we're gonna put one into 
vitality, sorry, vigor. What's vitality primarily for? It's sort of like this one's endurance or resistance, sorry. Um, that really levels up HP. I need something that actually feels worth it. I might do that. I'll put another one in endurance so I can get some more stamina. At least a little bit more. Sounds good to me. Okay, thank you. Let's go to blacksmith. <gasps> I'd give you up for dead. It's very interesting that he's a hollowing. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a hollowing blacksmith. Seems that way. Reinforcement. With Titanite shards. Um, you can reinforce the. Oh, cool. You can reinforce the staff. Hell yes. For more. Yes. Yes. Nice. That's cool. My girl. Now, listen, even you. I got a, I got a couple of ore stones, buddy. I got a couple of ore stones for you. Um, all right. We're not done with Heed's Tower of Flame. That train of thought gets me thinking that maybe we're not done with the Forest of the Giants either, because we just fought the giant. Went. All right. See you later. It did seem that we did a pretty extensive look around the place, but who knows? I am, I am historically known to be uh, also pretty bad at checking everything the first go around. Sometimes I think I'm thorough and then it's like, you missed the house that was right in front of you and it's like, yep. Yep. <laughs> also, this is me remembering I can travel between bonfires so I don't have to walk. Let's go back to the Tower of Flame. Um, what else is there? Yeah, maybe there could be something in there, but this is like very obvious that there's more like there's somewhere else to go. It's like, yeah, you beat this boss and the staircase. Wait! What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The white knights are up. Oh shit. Were they tied to the dragon rider? Oh wow. Dude, they're up and awake. Oh fuck. So they were just chilling, and then they're like, oh, the dragon ride is dead. Better get the fuck up, I suppose. Look at that dude. He's still coming for me from all the way over there. Like, the enemies in Dark Souls 2 are fucking persistent. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Incredibly persistent. Yeah, Jesus. Oh. That's where you choose to back off, apparently. I shouldn't have even fought that battle. That was not worth it. I shouldn't have fought that battle. Now I'm a flask down and great soul arrows down. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? I was at a bonfire. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go all the way back. I did need to go back anyway, but this is good. We've got another bonfire that we can travel to. So now all of those knights that are awake are inconsequential. I am going to read messages before NPCs. Be wary of charmer. By the way, we can sliver. Miscreant. Visions of hair. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> stop being, stop being horny, everybody. Jesus Christ. Are you from these parts? Oh! My name is Lysia. <laughs> I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But the cost of it, that's for your heart to decide. Miracles. That dude just killed her. I just watched him do it. Uh, Lysia of Lindelt. Buy the chime, which we already have. 
Ring of Prayer increases faith. You can actually wear rings that increase your stats like that. That's great. 28k. A ring blessed by the High Priest of Volgan increases faith. The clerics of the great city of Volgan are uh, perenne perenne ooh, perennially entrenched in scandalous power struggles, but among them remain a few strong-wheeled, upstanding noblemen. And there's everything. Oh, look, the lightning spear, homeward, guidance. Cool. No need for miracles. The gods frown upon such soul scrimpers. Excuse me. We can't all be fucking... Just speak up if you're in need of miracles. We can't all be perfect. That's why I'm here, after all. I can see why that guy killed you. Probably offended him. I'd heard awful rumors about this place. And I'm afraid they were all true. The king, gone. The earth, ravaged. The burden on the people weighs heavy. I fear that, by now, they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles. Why did I come here? Well... Do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? Yes. Otherwise it's suspicious. The preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world. And such is my only wish. Hmm. Okay. Suspicious. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is... Well... I must do this. And being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude. I'm out here all alone. I'm the seer of Lindell. I expected this cathedral to be bustling. But there's hardly a soul to be found here. Without any goings on, I'll have to move soon. To a place I could gull the. Sorry. Help the gullible by teaching the good word. <laughs> I don't like this person. I expected this cathedral to be bustling, but there's hardly a soul to be found here. Without any goings on, I'll have to move soon. To a place I could gull the. Mm, yeah. Sorry. Help the gullible by teaching the good word. I uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like her. But uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna murder. We're not gonna murder NPCs. Not until, not at least until the very end. <laughs> Where we go into New Game Plus. That's kind of the unfortunate tradition. Um, no need for miracles. But you'll be the first to go because you're so rude. You've been added to my list. Gorgeous view ahead. Mmm, brick. Love brick wall. Every message in this game is just as much of a troll as the fucking game itself. Jesus Christ. The game is beautiful, though. I really love, like, the, the natural, like, sort of blur that they've put out in the distance, like, with the lighting. Like, it's absolutely fucking gorgeous. So much blood. Oh, I was supposed to not read. I have to get used to that force of habit. What does hint mean? I'm just gonna go up to everything that could look like it'd be an illusory wall if it doesn't have a message, and then just like press the A button and then see if it works. Alright, um, here we go, down here. So we're going down now, and it's dark. I was just seeing if maybe it could be for a wall. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, you're the same as the dude before. Ha <laughs> ha. Tiny door. Don't you just love that they built tiny doorways? They built tiny doorways. And you're such a big boy. That's so funny. 
Uh, you wish you were as tall as me. Short kings unite. <laughs> um, message ahead, therefore try message. Jesus Christ. See, sometimes I feel like I'm missing out on something that's funny. Oh God. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is just funny. Let, let's read. Let's read the, the message train. Message ahead, therefore try message. Try left and then chest. Come on, man. You ruined it. Message required ahead. <laughs> Quagmire? Visions of message. Try circling around and then say, okay. Yeah, well, that's use that's useful. We know that. Yeah, we know that. I'll use the, I'll use the dagger, I guess. Weakness parrying. I can't parry what in this current setup, but I can, I should be, can you backstab with the left hand? Oh! Jesus. Check out that spear. Mm. Okay, for some reason, I've just got this inkling feeling that I'm not going to be able to backstab him with my current setup. Uh, so I'm going to do this thing that I really like to do, where I just do this. Damn it. Come on, man. Oh, he's actually weak. When he's not blocking. Hey, man. Stop blocking. Dickhead. I hate it. Gotcha. Cyan's gauntlets. Cyan's gauntlets? Let's have a look. Now, something that you guys have pointed out. Something you guys have pointed out. And by you guys, I mean, uh, one person's made the comment, but a lot of you seem to have agreed with it, is um, what I do is when I get new, like, armor... Or like stuff like that, new armor, whether it be like gear, weapons, whatever. I like read the description of it and then I like put it away. And that is genuinely because I'm try I, I play and I generally like to equip weapons that are good for my good for my stats. Um, and I do look at the the stuff that we get, and it's just because I genuinely look at it and I'm like, I don't want to equip it. <laughs> And, and that's kind of it. Um, I'll ch I'm going to try and experiment more with weapons, but the problem is I'm in a little bit of a limiting class for exploration. Like, I didn't pick an all-rounder class. I've very specifically gone down a magic casting path. So I can't just be like, oh, I'm going to experiment with the whip, because the whip needs 20 dexterity, and I'm not even there. So there will be a point that I could probably experiment, like, a little bit more. Uh, later on when I've got more points in different stats, but uh, a lot of the different gear is tied to stats and then in terms of outfits like Yes, I do want better stats and I, I guess it's a you know, it's as simple as that um, I'm happy to I'm happy to equip different things and try them out. I mean, I'm not exactly Jazzed about how I look right now. I'm literally just wearing a cloak with a random hollowed night helm, so it's not great. <laughs> but you know we'll see how we'll just have to see how we go but science gauntlets replica of the gauntlets of the loyal knight cyan uh these solidly crafted gear offers high defense sir cyan was widely known as the kingdom's most lethal knight and when the giants invaded he volunteered to lead the advance party what was slaughtered most dishonorably the king commissioned replicas of cyan's uh, accoutrements and bestowed them to promising knights but not long after they donned the armor did they go thoroughly mad interesting am I gonna go mad I think if I, I have to do it in here hmm it weighs more but it still puts me I still have a decent percentage I'm at 42% I could go even lower. Makes me think that maybe I should just go for like really light equip load. 
I think you have to be under, what, like, it would make sense to be, I think it's like 25%, right, to do, like, fast rolling. God, it looks so ghoulish when I'm dead. I love that you can put so much effort into the character creator in your face, and then it's just like you're gonna spend most of the game looking like a fucking zombie. So you can put imported stuff on. And I can put hollow soldier leggings. I can get to 26%, which is essentially. There's no point because then I still can't fast roll. So we'll just we'll just stay like this. There's a red line under the rings. I hope the rings don't have durability. Doesn't seem like it. Is this still full? Sublime bone dust. Sublime bone dust. Burn in bonfire to upgrade Estus Flask. So you can burn something to upgrade the flask, and there's also the shards. Maybe this is similar to the Firekeeper Soul, where it gives you like an Estus Flask plus one. Charred Ashen Bones. Cast them into the fire, far fire, or specifically the far fire in Majula to increase the HP restored with each use of your flask. They say these are the remains of a saint who cast himself into the bonfire, but we will never know for sure, for soot and ashes tell no story. A saint who cast himself into the bonfire. Um, that's great. Okay, so we can find, uh, bones, like, bone dust, or sublime bone dust, to in increase the flask's efficiency. Oh man, you're just chilling. Uh, and then, we can also find shards of the flask to get more uses out of it. I'm not entirely opposed to this. I think this is a genuinely interesting way to do it. Because it's different from the first game. It's like you have to like you have to work for your healing. You have to work for your health. And I'm not opposed to that in the early game. If you put in the effort and if you look around, it will pay off in the long run to actually have more health. So I'm fine with that. Alright, let's burn this dust. Some force has strengthened the Estus Flask. Yes, it is Estus Flask plus one now. Cool. That's cool. I like it. I can dig it. Alright. Oh, she's gone. Alright, she's moved on. She's moved on with her life, on to spread the good word to the to gullible people. Apparently, uh, that's always that's always nice. Let's have a look. I'm gonna try and avoid this guy. I'm thinking. Let me just go this way real quick. Oh, it's just an item. Human effigy, dark. Tra oh shit. Soul of a Proud Knight. Oh, we're going to get trapped in here in a sec. Ooh. Ah! Okay, we're fine. Alright, get to a safe spot before we have a look at what we actually picked up. We got an effigy. Um, dark Trocious. Temporarily boost dark defense. Trocious with an ex inexplicably pungent odor. Temporarily boost dark defense. Verbal histories often mention Saint Elizabeth. Her uniquely concocted mes medicines and potions are still widely used today. Elizabeth. Okay. Well, if we're going up to get in a fight with someone who uses darkness, we can temporarily increase our defense against it. So that's nice. I wonder if that's going to be relevant to this place. Oh, okay. Is this going to take us up? This will take us up the tower. 
Am I going to regret this? Oh no, we're going down even further. Damn. We are going down even further. I smell danger. <laughs> oh god. It's dark down here too. What the? Oh. And it's wet. And it's wet. Oh, it's not an illusory wall message at all. Okay. It's unfortunate that I can't even see the message because it's underwater and then I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can press A on like a wall but the message is right ahead of it. Oh. You surprised me, sir. Jesus. Okay, we're back to the lower level, guys. So I might use the dagger for that. <gasps> oh, it's another petrified statue. This is our second one and it's blocking a staircase. Dude, okay, so... Sorry, our third one. But our second one that is, um... Yet to be... Yet to be found. And, uh, cured. I should say. Mm. I am confused about where to get more of them because we could only buy one from a merchant. But alas. Hmm. All right. Before we proceed, I'm just going to take a quick break, uh, and then we're going to see what's lying lying ahead in the bottom, the depths of the tower. All right, let's proceed. We got a hole in the wall. Hmm. Message ahead. Oh my God. Why is there all me just there's just always oh nice. There's just always um there's just always blood stains everywhere in random places. I'll take this bonfire, that's that's fine. That's not even far away from where we were before. Unseen path to heed. So we're in a different spot now. We're in the No Man's Wharf. Unseen path. What? What? Well, it is the unseen path. Um. I already read Try Torch, unfortunately, so... Shall we try Torch? Thanks, game. No? Oh, okay, we can do... Okay. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> what the? Why does everything look so weird? Whoa! Surely not. This is not how it's supposed to look. This is not how it's supposed to look. There's no way that this is how it's supposed to look. This is a texture glitch. 
Is this not a texture glitch? What the fuck? I was like, oh, it's some like, I was, when I looked at this, I was like, oh, it's like, it's the unseen path. It's all weird looking. But then you get out here and you're like, no. No? There are some things that look real, like the fire over there. But that's just video game geometry. But then there's rocks here, but then there's a path here. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Ah! Oh, bleeding. We've got fully rendered enemies. But something's happened. Guys, I think I'm gonna quit and reload the game because there's no there's no way that this is there's no way that this is how it's supposed to be. Right? I'm not crazy, am I? Am I crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Jesus, man. What the fuck is going on? Oh, seriously? And like this pathway is good, but like this one isn't. But then that is. Oh. And ever, ever, I can't even see anybody. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you even come from? How am I even alive? I have no health. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening? Oh, my torch. Oops. And I equipped my dagger by accident. My eyes hurt. My eyes hurt. Get me out of here. <laughs> Make it stop. Make it stop. I'm. I'm. There's. There's no way. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm out. I'm. I'm out. I'm resetting the game. I refuse to believe that this is real. I straight up refuse. I'm killing these guys for souls, and then I'm. I'm restarting the game. What the fuck? Alright, um, I'll see you when I fix this, I guess. Alright, we are back. Uh, and I fixed it. And look, the, the only reason, the only reason I bought into it when this cave looked weird is because it's literally called the Unseen Path, right? This is like the most weirdest coincidence. Like, it's just like, it's the Unseen Path, so it's like, oh, it's all like, I don't know, fucking weird looking. Because it's like, that's why you need a torch, because you need to like navigate this fucking weird area. And then you walk through, and this is No Man's Wharf. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that, that dude's shooting me from so far away. Like, I just want to be able to look at this environment. So... We actually could see bits of the environment a bit better. <laughs> I should have just kept it like that. Because now I can't see. Now I'm getting Blight Town vibes. <laughs> but um, we're at No Man's Wharf. There's crashed ships. We're dealing with marauders and pirates, I guess. That is a shame that like the game fucking did that because it kind of killed the vibe because instead of being like ooh cool atmosphere i was like wait what the fuck is going on um yeah i'm just very confused um so we should try the torch oh my god that's where the dog is uh we should oh and that's where that guy is oh my god okay 
Okay, this is what I've got to look forward to in this area, I guess. Um, just people jumping out at me from nowhere, and I need to get used to lighting torches. Oh, I can't even target that guy because of the position he's in. Oh, yep, you're about to get up. Oh my god. I don't know how much I'm gonna like this area. I had such a weird introduction to this area, and now I just have to get used to what it's supposed to look like. What? I can't target him because he's behind a fence. He's behind a little piece of rope. Alright, we can go up and see him face to face. Nice. Visions of rolling. God damn it. Alright, give me a sec. Where's this dude? Come here. Oh. It'd be nice if you got staggered. Soul of a Proud Knight. God damn. Titanite Shard. Great. These enemy designs look cool though. That's something I can say for sure. Ah. Why did you shoot like that? I don't know if torching the whole area is really necessary. Can we walk in the... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Water is shallow. Large soul. And a life gem. This area looks so much better now, like how it's supposed to! <laughs> without fucking weird shit happening. Oh, there's a bridge there, okay. Oh, yep. You're just coming out of the water, are you? That's good to know. Yeah, they're like cool Viking people. Alright, let's go this way. You're gonna wake up. Oh, I'm hitting the torch, right. That's cool. Oh. Let me just, uh, hold on. There's so many! No, I just wasted a great, great soul arrow. What? What's with your damage resistance, buddy? Jesus. Where am I? I'm very confused. Just recovering from the shocks. Dark pine resin, cool. Applying dark damage to a weapon, even though we're sorcery. So it's not really gonna come in handy for us a lot. I'm just still trying to recover from my introduction to this area, you know? Which is just weird. Dude, there's fucking people everywhere in this place. Nice. Iron arrows. It'd be pretty good, but we're, you know, we're doing a bit of a magic based long range, if you don't mind. Alright, that's going to be a bridge or a shortcut that we'll be able to unlock at some point, I guess, but we've got to go the long way first. We've got to earn that shortcut. Through there, I guess. Oh, a dog. God damn it, dog. Give me a life gem while I'm here. Ooh, NPC. NPC? Cool looking pirate NPC? What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. 
Rude. <laughs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see this mask. <laughs> I'm called Lucatil. Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. While you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. Oh, we got a friend. Um, I'm assuming that if there's a boss, there should be a summon sign, right? You are an odd one. Yeah. We just made a friend. Don't hesitate. We got a pirate lady with a with a pirate mask on that has a beard. Woman ahead, therefore man rec oh. Try attack oh yeah, nice, I can see that. Oh three human effigies. Nice. Well, if there's a boss coming up soon. There's a boss coming up soon. We can pop one and get some assistance. Apparently, uh, there was a comment um, about how some of the NPCs' quest lines. Oh, he has a third. Some of the NPCs' quest lines are actually tied to summoning them, uh, which all that screams at me is we're gonna not go through a lot of NPCs' quest lines. <laughs> I'll try and make a habit of it, or I'll try and at least remember, but yeah, um, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. We'll see how we go. Uh, Varangian armor. Or armor worn by Varangi uh, Varangians or Varangians? Varangians that terrorize nearby seas. The coastline stretches far in northern Dranglik. Beyond this northern area is an unexplored continent said to be the home of things inhuman. Now, this gives us good physical defenses and uh, poison and bleed resistance, but it does have... Uh, some of our magic resistances, so I'm not sure. Okay. Stop. Is it truly pointless, though? Is anything ever truly pointless? When in the end you can say that you you it was all about the discovery. It was all about the discovery. Okay, so we've walked up here. We made a friend. This place seems like a fucking nightmare. Jesus! What the fuck? Where did she come from? Where did that dude come from? He came from the pointless area. I'm almost out of uh, almost out of arrows at this point, dude. It said liar ahead, so I am assuming that it is. But it says illusory wall with a big rating. But maybe it's one of those things that someone told me that sometimes the messages get like hacked to have higher ratings or something. So it seems like it could be something like that. Ah, yeah. Infantry axe. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. There's so many dogs. I am not gonna make this. What the fuck is that? 
What is this game? Where am I? This place makes no sense. What the hell is that thing? No, you don't. And everyone's just throwing shit at me. Oh my god. What are you? Whoa! I wish I could, uh... Ah! I wish I could get an extended look. But I'm not sure if I want to. Oh. I'm, I'm almost out of... I'm almost out of magic. At this point. Oh! And we're out of magic. <laughs> uh, this this doesn't look like it's gonna go very well. There's a lot of damage resistance here. A lot of physical damage resistance here. Oh no, I was in the middle of attacking. Ooh. Ah. I'm bleeding. No! Oh, nice. Jesus Christ. Tattered cloth hood. All of that for a tattered cloth hood. Ah! Let me get this. Large soul. Emit force. I think that's a miracle. Ah! <laughs> no! I was like, bonfire? Okay, I'm, f I'm fucking out. Um, homeward bone. Fuck my life. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, quick! Jesus Christ, it's absolutely pouring with rain outside, which is very nice for me. Very nice for me and my and my clothes that I decided to hang up to dry today. Rest in peace. Um, that place is an absolute nightmare. Uh, that's gonna take that's gonna take a lot of navigation, but we got we got a decent uh, a way through. That first area made a friend weird like dark monster things. I'm glad that we were able to fix the weird glitchiness. Uh, it was a bit of a weird first introduction to the to the no man's <laughs> wharf. Uh, but guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, so it's it's been pretty good. Some good exploration. We've been exploring Heed's Tower Flame. Killed the Dragon Rider after some eventful fighting. All in all, it's been a very entertaining episode, at least for myself. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I'm having a blast so far, but I am acknowledging the, the weird aspects of this game that are throwing me for a loop. But guys, again, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next episode.